Okay, guys. Hey, welcome to my channel, Cat Dev. Just Enterprise with Cat Dev, and today is March eighth. It's a Sunday, and I was I usually do Enterprise updates. So my Enterprise update today is more so on IT cabling and the network. So I was looking up the most common help desk problems, and the most common help desk problems are. The person's calling, they're saying that with, with tech support, they're unable to log in. Um, they deleted a file, their computer's running slow, or they can't print anything. So when I've been in the office, the most problem, most common problem is I can't print or my computer's running too slow. So I was looking at, you know, the RJ45, the Cat7 cable. And I was looking at wireless access points and seeing like, what's the best way to handle that. So my thought was like, well, if you troubleshoot it, troubleshoot, who is the person that calls the most to the help desk for tech support? Also who, um, what area of the office, what area of the office that the test tech support um, <laughs> receives the most calls from? So if the person that calls a lot to the help desk, that person might need some training on, you know, they may need some training about whatever, why they keep calling the help desk. Because sometimes it's just, you know, training as far as um, the person calling the help desk. And then second, I was looking at the wireless access point. So is there a wireless access point close enough to everyone when they're sending the printer jobs and close to the printer. So are there enough wireless access points? So that might be something to troubleshoot. So if you get a lot of calls on a certain thing, you troubleshoot it and you fix the problem one by one. So you can figure out, okay, does it go, does, do the calls go down? Are the calls reduced as you fix one problem? So if you look at the cat 45 connector, maybe it just, a wiring maybe just an old wire needs to be changed and that doesn't cost anything or maybe the port needs to be changed maybe the little network card or whatever needs to be changed so whatever it is maybe it's just a small thing it doesn't have to go to a big thing or maybe there's not enough wireless access points in the office because I was saying that a lot of times people are you know they bring their phones to work they have their um you have a computer connected to the um, network and you have all these other devices connected to the network. So maybe the network is clogged and maybe there's not enough um, wireless access to um, get things done. Maybe that's why the computers are running slow because people are using the Wi-Fi, whatever. You can troubleshoot each issue and see what the problem is in a specific area of the office. Not saying go and take on a whole job of the whole company going to figure out why, you know, you have pure computer printer problems because it could be just a specific part of the office. Maybe something's blocking, you know, um, the wireless could be a wall that's blocking. We know that happens a lot. So that's what I was thinking. Just like I will troubleshoot the issue and see if it's just a specific section of the office that the tech support receives the most calls from. Because in my opinion, I think that tech support could be doing something else because there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And if we cut down on calls, I'm not saying that I want them out of a job. But what I'm saying is that if you're in tech support and you get a lot of calls on the same thing over and over again, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So that person could be doing something else rather than getting all these calls for the printer. Printer um, not working. Printer jams or whatever. I don't know. So, um, and then I was looking at, is there, are there updates for the 10G network? So 10G, not 5G. I was saying the 10G PBS, which they're working on, all the cable operators are working on, are your ports, connectors, and wiring cabling updated to fit those specific protocols. And that's something you could talk about 
like when your IT person, like the tech comes in, they have the most knowledge about um, what's going on um, when they come in and like do updates or whatever, because they're always in the office. Um, whatever, if you get a call about like you need the phone update, if you have phone issues, I don't know. Whenever they come in, you can just say, hey, you know, um, what's going on with uh, 10G? Because a lot of times those people are knowledgeable, so... Um, and they've been doing it for years. I know that when I worked like the phone person, he, he knew a lot about cabling and things like that. So, um, so just, I was looking at the most updated cable now is the cat seven and it supports 10 G P B S. So, and then I was looking at I came up on my YouTube feed about a converter. If you have the old, um, uh, you have the old, like not broadband, but if you have the old system of cable, like the old phone systems, you can do a, you can use a converter to convert it to fiber optic, and you'll be updated that way. And it was like a hundred dollars per port, but that's I was looking on like the internet. It's a hundred dollars per port for an ethernet switch and you can upgrade it that way so but that's something that you you know your cto or like i, I was thinking too like is that the cto's job <laughs> to even do stuff like that i think the cto probably has like bigger better things to do if they're in a big company and it's a cto the cto has like big things to do and that's not like something that the cto probably would do but maybe they do so i'm sure that they have somebody in charge of it that does things like that so i don't know whoever job that is <laughs> whatever it doesn't matter um like update and see where the most common problems are in the office that's not something i think a cto would do i think they have like more things to worry about than stuff like that so um whoever's job it is they can check and see where the most common problems are in the office and just troubleshoot each thing one by one. Start with the smallest thing. Start with the cabling and see if maybe this is just a wire that's old or just a port that's shot or something like that. And then maybe extra coverage needs to be added if people are bringing, if people are using their phones at work or they're using different devices that are on the network and they're adding, um, adding more traffic to the network. So that was my thing today. It was going to be very short about cabling and IT calls and troubleshooting where to get the most calls from. So, I mean, and computers now, computers are not that expensive. Just a desktop computer, those are not expensive at all. So that's it today. It's March 8th and that's it. It was just about IT today because I love, I love IT. Even though I like software engineering, I do like IT still too. I like to keep up on it because I think it's important that you that I keep that I keep up <laughs> on what's going on in the IT world because it complements, you know, each other. Complements software engineering because at the end of the day, software engineering is something different. It's more, um, you know, software, and then IT supports people. So to me, IT means supporting people. So I like to keep up on like what happens in the office and what IT is doing. And IT is not this office. IT could be a whole bunch, a whole other stuff, which maybe I'll do next week. Maybe I'll do IT outside the office and the bigger jobs that IT does. I could do that next week. The bigger, the bigger jobs. I mean, besides just tech support, because there are people that do like big, bigger, um, big jobs out there that um or I can go into different maybe I'll do that next week different IT jobs in the industry I'll do that next week okay this is cat dev signing off